A solution of hydrogen peroxide is 30% H2O2 by mass and has a density of 1.11 grams per centimeter cubed. Calculate the molarity of the solution. We'll start this problem by reminding ourselves what molarity is, henceforth referred to as capital M. It's N, which is specifically the moles, N in general means moles, but in the molarity formula, N refers to moles of solute, okay? Moles of solute, the thing that you put in to the solution, in this case, hydrogen peroxide, H2O2. Divided by V, but in this case, specifically, it means the volume of the whole solution, okay? Not just the solute, nor the solvent part, but rather the whole solution, and it must be in liters, okay? Moles of H2O2, volume of solution in liter, clearly is the two unknowns that we're interested in finding here. We simply divide them and we have the molarity. It would be pretty simple, I think, to find the moles of H2O2 first. Now, if there's 30% H2O2 by mass, and really I don't know anything else about how much solution is present, then it's a worthwhile assumption for me to make that the mass of the whole solution is 100 grams. As long as I'm consistent with this assumption, then I'm allowed to make it. So being consistent with that assumption, I say things like the mass of H2O2 is 30 grams, 30% 30 of 100. Now this is an easy enough quantity to convert to moles. We go to our periodic table. I remind you that by considering what H2O2 is made out of, hydrogen and oxygen, and that hydrogen is 1.008 grams in every mole, and oxygen is 15.999 grams in every mole, then a molecule that contains two hydrogens and two oxygens, such as H2O2, will contain 34.014 grams in every mole. 34.014 grams in every mole. So I'll just take that down, the molar mass of H2O2. 34.014 grams in one mole. So let's get rid of this now. And let's take this 30 grams and let's convert it to moles. We say that 30 grams times the conversion factor that says there are 34.014 grams in one mole arranged so that the grams cancel out. Now 30 divided by 34.014 has us at 0 0.882 moles of H2O2. So N H2O2 is equal to this. And that answers half of the question. The other half will be concerned with the volume of the whole solution in liters volume of the whole solution. Well, remember when I said that the mass of the solution was 100 grams? And remember when they said, when they said that the density of the solutions, rho for density, equals 1.11 grams per centimeter cubed? Well, that would be enough, this and this, to figure out the volume of the whole solution. Because if density is equal to mass divided by volume, quick rearrangement says that the volume is equal to the mass divided by the density. So the volume of our solution then should be the mass of our solution, 100, 100 grams, divided by the density of 1.11 gram per centimeter cubed. Because of the units and the width of their positions, this comes out as centimeters cubed. And the result that you get from this for the whole solution on your calculator is a volume of 90.09 centimeter cubed. That is a volume, but it's not in liters. So now we just need to run one more conversion. We kind of want to know 
that one liter is equal to a thousand centimeter cubed. So we can take this result, 90.09 centimeter cubed, and multiply it by the conversion factor, which says that there are a thousand centimeter cubed in one liter. This allows us to cancel off the centimeter cubed and conclude that in liters, our solution has a volume of just about 0 0.090, two or three significant figures. All right, that is the other half of the problem, and we are just about done. We can conclude then that the molarity of this particular solution is 0 0.882 mole divided by 0 0.090 liters and just making enough space to finish the problem we arrive at the solution that the molarity here is 9.790 or I guess two two significant figures uh three three sorry 9.79 Again, three significant figures primarily from this. 9.79 moles per liter will be your capital M molarity for this particular solution.